Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do something very basic, but also really, really useful in um, OBS Studio on Ubuntu Linux, and that is how to mix your microphone audio feed with um, background music. So, but what I'm gonna be showing specifically is streaming background music. So I'm going to, going to be using something from the YouTube audio library, but if you're uh, streaming or using OBS to record live, you can of course use any music you have broadcast and other appropriate rights too. Um, now this of course is only one of multiple ways to layer in some music on your videos. You could of course do this all in post-production, but if you are trying to get that background audio for your stream, doing it in post wouldn't be uh, much use to you of course. So without further ado, let me show you guys how I'm going to set this up. And uh, no virtual audio cables required because I know that's a thing that comes up a lot when people are looking to do stuff like this in OBS. So I'm in the YouTube audio library and I'm gonna just find some music that uh, can go with this, uh, this for this demo. Let's say I wanna get some classical music so it's gonna have a long Runtime, classical music selected, not quite, yes. Ah, I'm trying to do everything too quickly. Classical music, apply. And uh, I'm going to filter on duration from long to uh, short. So we have here Beethoven's Ninth Symphony Finale, which has a 23 minute runtime. So what I'm gonna do now is start playing this um, music. Okay, so we have Beethoven playing somewhere. I actually can't hear it because I'm not using the speakers. They don't have headphones in. So we just trust that it's running. So now we're going to go over to um, OBS Studio and I'm just gonna turn off my window to show you guys how this is going to be done. Now by default, the meter you're seeing here is my microphone, mic AUX and my audio mixer. You can see where it's peaking about. And here is what I'm going to do. Now, firstly, because this video is specifically for Ubuntu, I'm going to firstly open up my PavView control and have a look at what's going on. So I can see that there is uh, some audio from Google Chrome that is playing out via my built-in analog stereo. Now, I guess it's a pretty quiet track because it's not making a lot of waves on the uh, from here. But if I you know crank up the gain a bit, you can see that bouncing around. So that's our Beethoven. I'm gonna bring it back there to uh, to zero dB. And um, in terms of input devices, this is my uh, audio interfaces, my Behringer and the level. So that all looks good. Now, if your Chrome audio, for example, I also have HDMI on this, uh, on my monitor. So by usually I'm listening to my desktop audio through this output device. So if it's set to, sometimes if you accidentally have an input, set to a fallback, you'll see that PavView Control uh, will try to route your desktop audio through an audio interface, an input, which obviously makes zero sense. So just make sure that that's going into uh, built-in analog stereo. So that's where our Beethoven is going. So, so far, so good. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is go into my uh, preferences here, settings, and in the audio tab, I have desktop audio is a global audio device by default, but I have disabled that. So I wanna go ahead and undo that move. And I'm going to select my desktop audio to be built in analog stereo. Now, something uh, quite cool I could I could do is that, let me bring back over my volume control thing. Let's say I wanted to listen to my uh, music through the HDMI speakers, and I'm gonna do that for a second. And indeed I can hear Beethoven playing. So I could actually do that. This wouldn't be the normal thing to do, but it would work. And I would just choose my desktop audio device to be the HDMI output, okay? So that output can actually serve for, o for OB from OBS's standpoint as desktop audio, but we're gonna do things simple, conventional uh, for this demo. So I'm going to select my desktop audio to be built-in audio analog stereo then all i need to do is click on apply and now you should be hearing some beethoven now i'm going to mute that so it's not distracting and i'm going to go ahead and uh put myself back over here for just for a second but that's basically how you do it and now all you have to do to kind of get the right level and you can of course be doing this as you are streaming 
um, would be, I'm going to unmute it now. And now I can just kind of look at my levels and see my voice is peeking into the yellow. And my uh, background classical music here is coming up a little bit more gentle. And I can actually choose to, because we picked a quiet track, it's not making much of an impression. If I pull the gain down here, I can completely mute it. Or I can just reduce it to a very minimal point. Or I can bring it back up to 100%. And likewise, I can, change, I can pull down my voice versus the music all the way down here. And I can mute either channel. So I'm going to mute my voice for a few seconds. And you can hear just the background music. Bring myself back up and do the opposite. And mute the background music. And I can of course do all the other cool things you can do in OBS Studio. Such as apply audio filters on either one of the channel. A compressor, expander, gain, etc. etc. If I'm not getting enough gain from the... Uh, audio here I can actually sort of go beyond that and I can also set advanced audio properties so I can choose to uh, monitor um, both channels if I want as they are being recorded so that's pretty much it in terms of uh, how you, and I still have the classical so I'm going to just uh, turn off Beethoven there. So that is how um, you can mix a microphone feed and a uh, and your desktop audio, which can be anything you're streaming. You can also um, direct something like, you know, you can have Spotify or YouTube or basically any audio that you have the rights to. You can uh, mix it against a microphone feed in OBS on Ubuntu, just like that. Hope this video is useful if you are uh, looking to do this in, um, Ubuntu, in Ubuntu and OBS. No additional software required. It works out of the box. You just need to know what to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to get more videos from me about streaming, OBS, Linux, and other topics, do feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.